Giant Godo moment. Another cringe moment with my original Pokemon uh, Emerald version. Uh, I don't know why I went back to my Pokemon. I was just checking to make sure my shoulder's in front. I was like, it's quiet. Wow. Wow. It's silent. Wow. Ooh, and there's Groudon. Wow. Steven's red orb suddenly began glowing. Glowing, glowing, is what I said. It was cringe. It was cringe. I'm sorry. I had to say that in my commentary. I was 13. I'm sorry. So yeah, red orb uh, suddenly being glowing. Awesome. And Groudon's going towards us. You know, I should have saved, but then again, if I have a failed recording, I don't know. I should have made a save. I should have made a. I should have made a. Um. I should have made a. Uh, save state though. Shoot, to save that way. But nope, I didn't. Okay, we're gonna try to catch this on the first try, on the first take or something. I don't know. Drought. Okay, it's gonna. That's yeah, gonna lower the power of. Uh, you know. Um, water type moves, but not ice type moves. That's good. I'm gonna try to freeze this thing. Groudon's level forty set forty five. So yeah. I think his moves are fire blast, bulk up. Um, earthquake and f and uh, slash is what I think that's his move set. So yeah, this thing's two levels higher than Metroid. That's cool. Yeah, nice. I can't believe they get this on the first take or after they restart the whole recording because I can't save. Jeez, while we're in battle or anything, you know. Okay, there we go. Freeze, freeze it. Nope, of course not. If it gets too many bulk ups, that could be a bad thing, you know. Honestly. Yeah, sunlight is still strong. Cool. The sunlight is still is strong. Okay, cool. Good for the sunlight. Let's go for the um, Ultra Balls now. I don't want to use my Master Ball on this thing. Let's see if I catch it in the first Ultra Ball, just like I did before in my original. Uh, no, I didn't even check it once in my original playthrough of uh, Pokemon Ruby for the, my channel. My first project ever on my channel. But I guess not. Okay, Fire Blast doesn't do too much. Okay. Well, it gets a little boost because of Sunlight too. It raises the power of Fire Type moves, lowers the power of Fire Type moves. So keep that in mind. This is not Ultra Ball. I should really should just use the save save before I actually try this battle with the ground on G's. Oh well, you'll open your own. Worst thing, like, worst case scenario is I have to start the recording over. So, I don't know. Okay, use an ultra ball, nice. Ah, oh, shoot. You know, it'd be really easy if I could put a status condition on it too, but, uh, I. I can't, because I don't have any status conditioning moves anymore. I could poison it with the sludge bomb and hopefully get poisoned. Or freeze it with ice beam and hopefully get freezing. But I guess that's just not the case. I think it can take one more. I think uh, Metroid can take one more fire blast. That's what I'm going to go for. Although I could use slash and I get crit. I probably just jinx it though. One. Dang it. Let's check one time. We're making progress at least. Slash. Ooh, that's what I was afraid of. Shoot. No. Shoot. Oh man, who's gonna be the best to stand up to this thing? I think I think Smokey is honestly, because fire it resists fire blast and then has a high defense on like uh, slash attack. Nice. Okay, let's just keep on throwing those ultra balls. Okay, yeah, cool. Nope, of course not. Earthquake. Oh, I forgot you had earthquake. Jeez, that's stupid. Wow. Oh, I completely forgot you had earthquake. Wow. This is great. This is great. It's gonna sweep me through my team now. Cause just because I can't catch it, you know. Let's go to let's go to Twitch, I guess. All because I didn't do a safe state before the battle. Wow, that's a big mistake on my part. Once we catch this thing, one. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I was gonna hurt. I'm sorry, Twitch. You're gonna be come barbecue. <laughs> that's actually kind of deep. That's kind of dark, actually. <laughs> okay. Yet I'm laughing at it. Jeez. Oh well. Come on. One, two, three. We caught it. Awesome. We got in our first take, and I didn't. I'm not regretting this because we actually caught it, and I don't have to do another take. I don't have to restart the recording or anything. That's awesome. Gotcha. Groudon was caught. Groudon today was out of the Pokedex. Awesome. That wasn't too hard, actually. So Groudon's 199 the Hoenn Dex, number 199, not to put Hoenn Dex. The name is Groudon, it's the continent Pokemon. It's, it's, it's 11, in, 11 feet and 6 inches tall. Now I think the highest, the tallest man in America, maybe in the world, uh, is um, 8 feet tall, or eight, 8 feet plus tall, 8 feet plus, 8 plus feet tall, there we go. Said it right that time. It weighs 2,940, it weighs 2,094.4 pounds. Its footprint looks like a... 
Looks like a bear. Oh, not really. It's just like a normal footprint for the ground, I guess. So yeah, that's if you thought you know that Snorlax weighs a thousand fourteen pounds, I think you know Groudon almost weighs double that. Jeez, Groudon has long described has been dis Groudon has long been described in mythology as the Pokemon that raised lands and expanded continents. This Pokemon took a sleep after a catastrophic. Uh, Cataclysmic um, battle with Kyogre. I probably pronounced that word right. Correct. I probably pronounced that word wrong, but that's okay. Give it to Groudon. Sure. Let's name this guy. Let's name this guy Big Red, because uh, we named our rare word Big Blue, I guess. So let's name it Big Red. Nickname it Big Red. Big Red. Big Red. Nice. Big Red was sent to the PC. Cool. So let's go to the Pokemon. Let's go to the. Um, I'm probably gonna just escape, but honestly, I'm too lazy to go all the way back out.